Hey, so, hi everybody. Adam Savage in my cave and we're making some crowns again. It's craft day. We're making some crowns. Um, this is, what? Wait, wait, where'd you go? What happened? What fell off? This is iteration 1.0 of the crown that Daniel Lilligreen drew and uh, the first print I made of the St. Edward's crown that he was drawing. Um, we made some modifications. And while I was printing the second one, I dropped the first one, which shattered. So I'm repairing it. The, 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 the specific thing about the crown is that it's not like every jewel cluster is different, but it's not like every jewel cluster is the same. So there are numbers. Um, in fact, we can actually set out. Here is kit number two. Ooh. Hey, hey. And then we have three of these. One of them is good. Those are good. That one, oh, that one looks really good. Okay, yeah. Uh, one of the big issues I had with printing this was the bottoms of these. I tried it, Orlando tried it, we painted, we painted the supports in where they were needed. It was still a bit of a problem. Those long, long hang downs. They worked on most all of them, except we just missed a couple. So that's, um, that's uh, we'll just save that for another project. But I've got the, uh, so we got, we're gonna repair and put together all at the same time. So that's that, and that is that, and then this is that. Uh, that, 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 crosses, yes, 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 the crosses. Okay, that's a kit right there. Everything but the clusters. Right, so number A, we have one, two, one. That's C. There's only one. A, wait, where, I need one more A. Come on, come on. Where, where are you? So here I have two, two, three, yeah, two, one, two, I need plus one, seven should be two, eight should be one, nine should be one. All right, this is not at all a complete set. Not too far.
Okay, um, here is my, my crown repaired. And now I'm gonna uh, go in and start to execute crown 2.0. Oh. Um, right, so there is a one and two, those go like that. Front and back cross piece is the under cross. Uh, Daniel Lilligreen, by the way, when, I might've already said this in one of these videos, but like when he was first looking at this, he brought up the fact that the two crossing arms at the top of the crown are not symmetrical bilaterally. Uh, and asked me if I wanted to copy that. And I was like, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Right, okay. Nice. Oh, this is great. Okay, so that goes to what's about there. Lovely. Nice, nice, nice. We're just gonna glue these two here. All right, let's glue this one for reals. send some more uh, of the pieces that I need to complete this. Uh, I had to print up some extra pieces that I didn't have, and it actually looks like I'm using a different red, which I'm surprised by, but that's fine. I can make that work. Um, so what I'm missing in this collection here, okay, let's just set that
three tries. Three tries to get this one wrapped, but I think I've got it here. Um, we are almost at the, uh, we're almost at the finish line. It remains only to put on the pieces that will complete it. Uh, the orb, the orb printed poorly on the first time, uh, but we fixed that just by printing it in two halves and they look freaking spectacular. Okay. And then uh, V2.0 of this just didn't work. So I went back to version 1.0. Uh, this is the banding that covers the holy orb up at the top. Come on. Don't you... Ah, yeah, good. Um, this little... This still needs a little bit of work, but it fits... Oh, it fits on this thing. Well, does it? Wait, hello. Okay, so uh, we're gonna glue. We're gonna glue it all because I want it to be permanent. This one, I want this one to be a permanent object. I'm also gonna give it a coat of uh, matte, matte spray when I'm all done. Here we go. Okay. This is version 1.0. This is version 2.0 of the St. Edward's crown. Without a doubt, am I right about this? This could be the most accurate model drawn for 3D printing. I think during the opening credits of the actual show, The Crown, I thought, I think, during the opening credits of the show, The Crown, a digital model of The Crown uh, assembles itself. That is probably as or more accurate than these, but honestly, Daniel Lilligreen's work is par excellence, and this V1 is V2 is just, I'm so happy with it. Happy enough, you know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna take it home. Gonna stare at it all night. Yeah, and then we'll figure out what the next steps are. Dude, so happy. Just the best. Um, yeah, we're gonna uh, experiment with 3D printing some resin clear jewels. Um, we may even try printing colored clear resin. Yeah, for the jewels to make them all accurate. But there's also a secondary model that I want to build of this in which all of this is simplified. For instance, look, these are like seven different kinds of clusters of eight gems around a big middle gem. We can just choose one of those for all of these. We can choose one of those for all of these. We can choose one of those for all four of these. And all of a sudden we have one, two, three type of gem settings for five instead of, what did you see? Uh, four, eight, 12, 16, 24 separate types of gem settings, each with multiple gems. So there is a version of the crown that I would like to do. I, look, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna end up with myself a really nice, super accurate St. Edward's crown, and I will gem that puppy up. Uh, but at the same time, hang on. At the same time, um, I'm gonna make a simplified version in which uh, 
This cluster is all the same. The cross surrounds are the same, so that's two. The centers are the same, that's three. Um, there's only two kinds up here for five. Um, these gems, of which there are five different types, there's going to be only four different types. So it's like nine, nine different gem settings instead of 24 separate gem settings. Yeah, I think that'll be, I think that'll be pretty useful. Um, I just love it in red. I love it in red. I, I don't know why I'm reluctant to wrap this, but like, Mwah! very happy. Uh, thank you guys for joining me for this. Thanks everybody. And um, just proceeding slowly on this kind of thing. Yeah, maybe I'll send it out and have it vacuum metalized. What? Thank you guys so much for watching that video. We have some brand new merch available at the store a dog's age ago. I mean like 2018, 2019, this wonderful graphic designer named Brian Otterer reached out to us and sent us some stickers. He has a design firm called Dash Three Dots and we loved his stickers so much we wanted to sell them on the merch store. Well, he updated them with our new logo and we've got Adam in a Martian space suit sticker. We've got Adam in the shuttle suit sticker. We've got Adam in the Apollo suit sticker. And my personal favorite, Adam in the alien space suit sticker. Get yours now, tested-store.com. Hey!